All right, Drake Riggs here with Antonio Carlos Jr. Shoe face at ATT American Top Team in Coconut Thanks. Creek, Florida. Antonio, man, good to see you here. You know, just got done training, as you told me. And, uh, you know, we're going into the playoffs in the PFL. How did the regular season go as for your ex expectations? Obviously, you made the playoffs, but did that go as you thought when you were entering the PFL? Oh, I was great, man. You know, I had the, the first fight was a first round submission, you know, against Tone Lawler. It was a tough guy, especially a tough guy to finish, you know, and I, I, I could get it. Uh, second fight against Vini, you know, another Brazilian guy, Jiu Jitsu, too. Uh, unfortunately, he had the, the, the knee on the groin, you know, and we couldn't fight anymore, but I felt I was fighting really well, you know. Uh, uh, I think I was uh, on the way to the, to the victory. Uh, but it is what it is. At least I, I made the, the the playoffs, you know, really excited, you know, going to fight the former champion, uh, Emiliano Sardi. It's going to be a great fight, you know, and so happy for fighting in my backyard. You know, now he's going to fight here in Florida. Yeah. It's, it's going to be awesome. Yeah, exactly. And you mentioned the Vinny fight right there. And, you know, still moving on. It's in the past now. But because of how it ended, do you kind of hope, like, rematch someday maybe if it if it works out that way? Uh, I don't really think about that, you know. Uh, Vinny actually didn't didn't do it very well, you know. He didn't make the way in the first fight, and the second fight was a little weird, you know, mm -hmm. with me. Uh, but no, I don't think about that. You know each other, you know. Mm -hmm. There is no like bad bad things between us. Uh, just focus on the semi final, on the final, you know. And let's go to the future. Let's. Let's think like forward, you know. Exactly, exactly. I know you're at light heavyweight again, you know, after you left the UFC, you were in middleweight. When you were, you know, in the UFC, though, and on that three fight losing streak, you know, did you hope, though, to maybe get a chance to go back up while you were still with them or just this is how things played out? The UFC? Yeah, go up to light heavyweight again in UFC. I was, I was thinking about going up, you know, but I was, all right, I'm already here in the middleweight, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll try a little more. But I think it was a big mistake, you know. I, I, I know my fights was pretty close, you know, with everybody. I even think, like, the fight against Ray Hall, I won the fight. But, well, it is what it is. I'm really happy here in PFL, though, you know. Actually, it uh, was a fresh start. I'm feeling, like, really good here. Is You know, it's a good environment. Uh, I said that in the past, UFC uh, changed a lot, you know, mm -hmm. since they sold it, since the, the Reebok stuff happened, you know, and, well... Uh, some things was weird, you yeah. know, and PFL, I think, you know, it, it's, it's, it's been better for me. So you just like, uh, uh, it's like, a, I, I like the tournaments, right. you know, you win, you go to the next you know one, you win, you yeah. go to the next one, you know, uh, in UFC, it doesn't have that way, but you know, yeah, this, you know, change in my division, I think, makes a big difference, you know, my performance, you know, because I'm a grappler, you know, mm -hmm. I need the strength, I need the, yeah. the isometry and stuff. And when I lose a lot of weight, I used to lose like 35 pounds, was a lot, mm -hmm. and I felt like I lose the energy, you know, so right. in some point, I, I just, my energy just disappeared, you know, out mm -hmm. of the blue, I just, oh, well, you what to happened to me? Yeah. You used to be yeah. heavyweight. <laughs> yeah, I, I was not a heavyweight, actually, I was even lighter, you yeah, know, yeah. in the ultimate fighter. Yeah, true. I was like, at the time I was like two, five, two, seven, right. you know. So you Just get old, <laughs> yeah. You got, you get older, you get heavier. So now I walk around like two twenty, two, two eighteen, mm -hmm. two twenty. You know what I mean? So it was hard to to make like one eighty five, but two five is awesome, especially now in PFL. You gotta make weights like sometimes in a year. Mm -hmm. You know, like I I made like. I may wait three times this year, you know, I fought in January, I fought UFC, after that, I gotta make the right. weight like two times, so you always need to, you know, get into the weight, so I think get close, like 15 pounds is, is, is better because it's way easier, right. way easier. Right, you know? definitely. And you know, I imagine that, you know, the release from the UFC was a very good motivation, you know, for you going into this and maybe a chip on your shoulder makes you want to prove yourself even more, is that fair to say? Sorry, sorry. You want to prove yourself even more after, you know, the UFC lets you go and a good motivation mm -hmm. yes. to have. You know. Yeah, definitely. You know, uh, I know my potential, you know, I know how good I am. Uh, I made some bad choices, you know, like keeping the middle way, I think was a bad choice, you know. Uh, but as I said, I think UFC changed a lot. I was good for UFC for a, for a little bit. They were good for me, too, you know. But a lot of things change, you know, and there was a lot of pressure, you know. I couldn't fight as much as I want to, mm -hmm. you know, to keep the rhythm. Right. Uh, and now in PFL, I just feel like a good environment, you know. Yeah. I feel 
they, they treat us like treat the fight, uh, the fighters very well. And man, I feel, I feel great. I feel home. I feel like in the right place too. Yeah, love to hear it. And no chance of middleweight then in the future? Probably not. No, no, probably not. <laughs> probably not. You know, I, I, I'll be honest with you. Like, I'd like to have something in between, you know, like, let's say 195 or yeah. something like that it would be perfect. You know, I would be still big for the division, right. you know, because I'm not the big 205, you know, but mm -hmm. like 15 pounds, some guys lose like 20 pounds yeah. or 25 pounds or, or even more, you know, but I know it's good to be the, the big guy in the division, but like sometimes, uh, you stay know, too. yeah, stay healthy <laughs> is the best thing, you know, especially for everything, like even from, from my mind, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes when you're dieting, like you say, man, it's not good for your mental health too, you mm -hmm. know, it's bad for your body, it's bad for your mind, you know, and 205, I feeling healthy, like in no aspect of my body, you know. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> we, you know, we mentioned uh, taking on Sorty next is your next opponent coming up here uh, in August. Just uh, what are your thoughts on him? Of course, the former champ, and just what do you think of him as an opponent? Uh, he's a tough guy, you know. He's uh, we trained together a little bit in Brazil back in 2014, I think, when I was living in Brazil. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a nice guy. You know, we got a good relationship and know each other. Uh, he's a former champion, so. He, he's pretty good, you know, pretty good fighter. Uh, hits hard, so I need to be careful, you know, do the right stuff, right strategy. But uh, what I see on his last two fights, he made some mistakes, you know, and I think if it, that happened on my fight, uh, I won't let it go, you know. Right. I want to get the submission on the knockout. Of course. And, you know, with the tournament format, do you look at the other side of the bracket at all and, like, Think about those guys, or you're just like I'm totally focused on Sorty. No, you always think uh, the you know guys, about yeah. the other guys. You know, <laughs> like I focus on, on Sorty, but I I still look at the other side and think who is gonna go to the finals. You know, I want to go to the finals, but like uh, I'm more focused on now. But I, I have my plans to the future too. Mm -hmm. You know, but uh, now I'm training just for Sorty. You know, especially because you don't know what's gonna happen. Right. Maybe like none of them two gonna go to the final because they can hurt, you know, yeah, they get hurt exactly. or whatever, you know. Everything can happen in this sport. So uh, focus on Sorgi, you know, on get better and get a win, whoever it is. Absolutely. And, you know, you're one of the best BJJ players, I think. You know, safe to say in light, heavyweight, middleweight, wherever you're fighting, right? <laughs> so, I mean, hard question for you, man, but what would you say is the secret or at least a key to be to having great jiu-jitsu what is something that everybody should maybe you know try and focus on to be uh -huh. good at jiu-jitsu well first of all you need to like what you do right yeah, important. you need to like what you do you need to be interested in getting better you know uh i think if you train smart it's a good stuff too because i see a lot of guys they just like they just go hard mm -hmm. let's roll let's roll no uh, i think the drills is very important you know i i think you 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 need to uh, how do I say, optimize your movement, you know, mm -hmm. like make make natural, you know what I mean? Sometimes you just roll, 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 and you don't adjust some little details. And Jiu-Jitsu has a lot of details. If yeah. you open a little bit your elbow or close or move your wrist or whatever, it makes a big difference. So you need to understand that, need to do the drills, make the movement natural, you know, and so you're going you're gonna to get better. Yeah, you know. for sure. Good advice right there. And, <laughs> you know, uh, re you mentioned the ultimate fighter. We mentioned when you you're at heavyweight barely. And uh, recently, Chael, you know, was he your coach? I don't remember. Was, no, no. It was Vanderlei team? Vanderlei, okay. Yes. Well, Chael, he talked about, uh, you know, that infamous moment that was on the show where him and Vanderlei got into the brawl, which that was right ahead of one of your fights, though, right? Or I don't, around remember, I don't remember. But I, I remember they fought each other, yeah. you know. Well, yeah, I was going to ask you about yeah, yeah. that. Like, what do you remember about that? Because it was a very crazy moment. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy, man. Because we, uh, the fighters was like back in the door, mm -hmm. you know, just waiting to get inside, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. at the gym. And the guys was holding us, you know, like, oh, some things happen. So, <laughs> wait, 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 you know what I mean? So I said, all right, I'm going to get the cap because we just had train. So I'm going to get some, some, some hat. Mm -hmm. And when I see the guys just get inside to separate the fight, you know, because they, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> so it was a little crazy. So I, 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 
when I saw was everybody in the big like circle here trying to separate Vanderlei and Sony, it was mm -hmm. crazy, man. Yeah, definitely uh, <laughs> something we'll always remember. But uh, <laughs> all right, man, we can leave it off there. Appreciate you taking the time so much. Thank and you so looking much. Looking forward man. to the fight. Best it, of luck, man. Let's go. Yes. Oh, hey, you made it to the end. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. If you like this video and want to see more like it, give it a like and maybe subscribe if you haven't already. Until then, we'll see you next time.